everybody we're back and we're not fishing for the bluefish today we are shark fishing like we normally do i got our ocean master with the bg8000 the leader's just under 11 foot these are some of the best conditions that we fished under in over three months this looks like a summertime day but she's not getting any bites so we need bait first Okay, we got bait. I was gonna walk away. Eddie. Okay, well, I, I was gonna hold the rod, I told you that. Okay, we got bait. I want a bigger whiting for that Ocean Master rod, but that's okay. Because without bait, you can't do anything. Yeah. Toss him up there and throw that thing back out. Let's get oh. a damn shark today. Okay, here's opening up bait for the Ocean Master. She caught a small whiting that's a little small for the 10-0 Super Moon too. I hooked it through the top of the head and I didn't like it, so I hooked it through the mouth. That's a little small one. I want a bigger one. I'll be able to throw it a long way, though. And that is a 10-0 Super Moon 2, 3 foot 10 of 480 cable, and 7 foot of 60 pound twisty. So it's 10 foot 10 inches with the BG8000, 500 yards of Suffix 832, 65 pound, and the Ocean Master Rod. And I'm going to get the light shark rod out right after I throw this. The light shark rod is going out. That's an Eagle Claw 11-0 L204 circle hook. Five ounce weight. Three foot of 480 cable. And seven foot of 60 pound twisted mono with the Fenor 5500, it's got 300 yards, a 65 pound Jerry Brown solid line. And the rod is a Tsunami Airwave Elite. 9.3, I cut an inch off the butt and put a bigger butt cap on it. She caught a 62 inch black tip, the six foot three spinner, and a five foot eight freakishly fat black tip that weighed 100 pounds or more. So it's still, it's the light shark rod, but now I got two rods out. So the odds of us getting something is greatly increased now. Okay, we're shark fishing like we do in the summertime when I can get two rods out. She fishes in the middle with the bait rod. I put the main shark rod of the day on the left with the GoPro. That's the Ocean Master with the BG-8000. And the right rod is always the second shark rod. So if I put one up, it'll be that one and leave the other one out. And that's the Fenor 5500 on the Tsunami Airwave Elite. And then she'll run over and she'll put her bait rod in the holder. And then I got to run back and get the GoPro if it hits the right rod which we had had and we had that happen a lot this year so far okay i caught a huge whiting he's probably 14 inches so we got cut bait for now okay i caught that huge whiting while she was 75 yards down the beach trying to look for sand fleas or whatever so here's what we're doing with him i got the head Looks, looks like the thumbnail of the cut up whiting video. How to cut your whiting for shark bait. That's a big whiting head. And then I got two small pieces uh, with the bluefish rig, the two 6 hooks, because I guess they're out there today since I put the bluefish cut bait rod up. This rod will do it though. It's just a little bulky to mess with. So now let's see what's out there now. Is he on there? Yeah. Okay.
Let's see. That is a dinky blue fish. Okay. Hey, go get that rod. The bait rod's getting something. There's Mr. Bluefish. That is good. You got him? No, I don't think so. Not this time. Lift him up. That's a regular. Honey, it's a stripe on it. Oh, okay. Well, then it is a palometta, palamento, whatever. They're out there this year more than ever. Grab the mono, pull them up. She got a double whiting when we were messing with the blue fish. They were both on there, just, just hanging around. And now the blue fish rod's biting. See, that's the thing with the bluefish. Either you set the drag tight and just try to get the bluefish, or you've got it loose so the sharks don't pull your rod in the water. Okay, where are we at? Drag him up here. Second blue fish. Yep. He's a bigger one too. Man. Put him on the ground and step on his head. You can maybe take him off. Okay. Flip. You can let him go. Let him go? Yeah. Behind the head. Yeah, okay. Yeah, chuck him out there. I got the bluefish head on there now, and their head's a lot harder than the whiting. I had a hard time getting that big Mutu hook through there. So, it's exposed enough, I think we're okay, but man, I don't think anything's gonna pull that off. Palometta Pompano again. Okay. Wow, that's okay. I am going to let him go on the Karma thing. Because he's a good size for the bluefish. It's another Dinkomatic White. Okay, I took the bluefish rig off. Put the three foot of 480 cable with the 110 L204 Eagle Claw hook with a little chunk of whiting. And I'm gonna wade out there probably about 50 yards and throw it. I'm gonna back it up. Oh my God. Okay, I waded all the way out there, risk getting bit by the shark in waist deep water, and the bluefish took the bait immediately. So now they're out there, they weren't out there for the last hour. So I'm not, I'm just gonna wade out a little bit and throw it. I'm not wading waist deep water to yeah. risk getting bit for the damn bluefish. Yeah. And watch, once I do this, the rig will sit out there and nothing will mess with it. That's the way it is today. Stick him! Tighten the drag. Tighten it. You can use your other hand and switch over. 
Is he on there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was probably 80, 90 yards out. Okay, here's the little blue fish. He's not even that big. On the bottom hook. I just uh, can't be waiting out in waist deep water just to get bluefish but guess what that's what she wants me to do so that's what i have to do skinny. yeah he is skinny he doesn't look good at all we're gonna keep him for bait not taking him home because the conditions are so good we don't know how much longer we're gonna stay we might be here for a while all right throw him up there and i'll take care of him Oh, she hasn't caught anything in about two hours. We're fixing to leave. Wow, there is just something. Let's get a good uh, look at him. Lift it up. Another Palomena. Okay, there is something about them things out here now. All right, I'm gonna go put the shark rods up. So, how many is that? You get two or three palomino today. Like two, wasn't it? two and what? Three blue one, fish. One, one is a baby uh, pompano. The baby pompano. Two of those. Three blue fish and what? A couple of more whitey. No, no catfish today, right? No catfish. But yeah. Yes, surprisingly, no catfish today. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.